Downtown Happenings is brought to you by Foothill 7 TV and the Thompson's family of automotive dealerships. Well, I'm Kevin Brown. I'm here today with our guests, Sue and Hollis Henderson from the Marine Corps Reserve's Toy, Toys for Tots. In the back row, we have Stacy Walls, Community Services Officer from the Eldona County Sheriff's Office. Quinn Cuthbertson, which is a public information officer from the Pla California Highway Patrol Placerville office. And we have Tina Woods in the back, who is a volunteer for Toys for Tots program as well. Welcome, everyone. We're going to start Thank with you, Sue. I'd like to ask you to give us a little uh, history on Toys for Tots and what it is that you do. Um, Toys for Tots is a community charity. Uh, it was started in 1947 um, down in the Los Angeles um, region where a uh, reservist... Um, you probably would be better at telling this story. She Hendrickson? Oh, I do. I remember everything. So anyways, um, it was reservist. His wife had made a doll, and they wanted to donate it. And she sent him out like a good wife would, and the husband went out with the doll to looking to give it to somebody for the holiday season and actually to give it to a child. And he, there was no organization in doing that. So that's when they decided to start the Toys for Tots program, and it started in Los Angeles. Um, and this is our 67th year, 35th year here, by the way, for um, El Dorado County. And we've Great. been coordinators for eight years now, and we've absolutely have loved it. Um, entirely the community's involved with this. Uh, we love having volunteers, our families that we serve, uh, the wonderful people we meet, which is here today, and you as well have come and helped us and supported us with those toys and with giving away the, the, uh, the toys to those kids out in the community. And we hope that anybody that hears this, if there's a child that's in need or a family that's in need, we would certainly like you to contact us. And very shortly, the uh, schools here in our county, who are also um, partners with us, have the registration form. So just go to your nearest elementary or middle school go to the office and ask the secretaries there and they will register you for the Toys for Tots. We don't turn kids away. We make a difference, one toy at a time for each child that comes to us. So we really want to make sure that there's kids out there that are in need of toys that do come to us and so that we can take care of them and make their Christmas a special as well. And I know all of us here that are here tonight and talking with you, Kevin, is that, you know, we want to make a difference. And that's why we come together and we've brought some of the toys selected that we bought and purchased today um, at our local stores because we do shop locally and support our businesses here in the community. And um, these toys will go out to some lucky kids out there um, for this Christmas season. Well, let me ask you a question. So what ages does the Toys for Tots program cover with, as far as kids? Uh, we go from birth up to 13 years, okay. although if there is an older child, 15, 14, 16, we'll do our best. Um, sometimes we do get some um, items in there that we do and can give away. We don't turn anybody away. Everybody has to have the Christmas. That's what we're all about, and that's the time we take. I mean, we hit the ground running. We go from zero toys, um, and it takes us. Last year, we collected about 22,000 toys. Well, approximately 22,000 toys. Well, if somebody wants to find a, a, a location, a business location or store location that has a Toys for Tot box to, for them to donate, how would they do that? We have approximately 300 boxes spread out all over El Dorado County, all the way from the Divide, all the way down into uh, El, Dorado El Dorado Hills. And then the El Dorado Hills Fire also has toys boxes at various businesses. And we have them all over the county. We are developing a website. It's in, it's in work right now. And you can go up on our website, and it's edct4t, the number four, dot org. And there's a list of all the businesses that have toy boxes. There you go. Awesome. I'm going to go back in the back here for a moment. And I'm going to end back up in front with you. Quinn, you're also with, with the uh, Chips for Kids program, and which I believe works together with Toys for Tots. Is that correct? Uh, that's correct. Um, I've been running the Chips for Kids program in Placerville here for three years. And that first year, uh, I met Sue Henderson. And we hit it right off the bat and have worked closely together ever since. So between our two charities, we are able to provide for a greater number of children throughout our county, El Dorado County. Um, I work through CPS, foster care, mm -hmm. and um, uh, women, infant, and children, and we're able to provide 
to those children even past the ages of 13, 14 years old, all the way up to 18 years old. And it's my goal to make every holiday a little more special through these toys. That's great, that's all of our goals. So you fill in the gap from the 13 to 18 as well. So together, both groups together, we get kids from zero up to 18, which is, which is fantastic. If somebody wants to donate to the, to the Chips for Kids program, how would they go about doing that? Um, they can drop toys off uh, at our CHP office in Placerville, um, across the street from AMPM um, Schlotsky's. We're at 3031 Low Highway. But also, wherever there is a Toys for Tots bin, the majority of those locations will have a Chips for Kids uh, bin right next to them. Um, and several of the different uh, schools throughout the area, we also have uh, Chips for Kids bins for collection. Now, is there any items, uh, uh, toys or items that, you're, that you cannot collect or do not collect? Well, there, there are a few toys that uh, we don't collect. Um, any sharp objects. Um, there are some video games that we just we don't collect because of the mature ratings mm -hmm. and somebody might get a video game but they might not have that gaming system. Okay, how about cash donations or any monetary donations? Or is the CHP allowed to take that? Chips for kids cannot take cash donations or credit cards. However, we refer those donations to Toys for Tots, Toys for Tots who can use that money in a much better way than we possibly could. Excellent, excellent. And, and if somebody wants to volunteer for your program, are you, do you allow volunteers to help out with the program? The more the merrier. We can never have enough volunteers. And that's for the entire season. Um, up to the days that we have our toy drives, um, the Toys for Tots toy drive is uh, December 20th and 21st, and the Chips for Kids toy drive is on Monday the 22nd. Great, so we three can days in a row of toy drives. We could use volunteers on each and every one of those days and every day leading up to those events. Yes. Excellent. Thank you very much. We're going to go over to Stacy now. Stacy, tell us how the Sheriff's Department, the Sheriff's Office, and, and yourself get involved in this program and what, what can we do to help you? Well, I've been involved with the program for almost 20 years. I started it when my sons were 13. They were Marine cadets. Then they became devil pups. Then they went to late entry program. Then they became Marines. We started it with the Marine Cadet Program when we were over at the Armory, yeah. and we've been with them every year since. Since and probably about the last four years, five years, we've really been bringing the Sheriff's Department more involved in it. We get our volunteers, our Explorer Scouts, which are our under-18 group. We have our Sheriff's Team of Active Retirees, which are our, our senior group. Mm -hmm. They help with toy collection, toy donation. They help during the parade. They help stack the things. They help package them up. Everybody's just been phenomenal. And when I put the word out that I'm looking for volunteers for the tour driver for the bell ringing up at the bell tower or I need a marked unit to go do a stuff to truck at Walmart, everybody's just been right on top of it. So it's it's been a good thing. It sounds like a really good team effort. It is. It is. Well, great. So is there any, any uh, volunteers that can help outside, or do you have uh, room for other volunteers outside of that? We always have room for other volunteers. Um, our volunteers are obviously going to be very uh, um, obvious. Our stars will be wearing the white shirts with the sheriff patches, but we can always find room. Good. Yes. Good. Great. Okay, we're going to go down to Tina Woods now. Tina, why don't you tell us what it's like to be a volunteer for the program and how you see how long you've been volunteering with them and... and uh, what would you tell potential volunteers to get them to come in? Okay, well, let's see. I've been with them for volunteering for 10 years. The first two, we were actually out on the floor, me and my Girl Scouts, and bagging the toys for the families and stuff. And then I actually ended up by starting with Sue when they started running it, and I started up at the front helping the registration so that when the parents come in to pick up, they give us their sheet, and we hand it back to the different volunteers back there. They bag it, you know, and... It's just, it's a lot of fun. It's community service if you need community service. It's a big happy family. We just have a really good time. There's food, there's drinks, there's just so much going on. And even sometimes Santa comes on out. So it's a lot of fun. Awesome. So you mentioned the Girl Scouts. So you were in the Girl Scout a leader and you get your girls involved in, in volunteering yes. for community service for, One for them of the, as well? Yeah, we, 
community service is a big thing for the Girl Scouts. So we come out to the different organizations and we'd gotten a flyer that said they were needing volunteers. So we went on out there and we got it through the Eldorado Hills Fire Department actually is how we started with it and was counting toys and stuff with them in the beginning and then came out to the actual site where the toys were being distributed. And that's how we got involved. And it's just kind of been from there. My daughters are both in college and they started very young. And in fact, my uh, youngest daughter is already going, when is it I made to make sure I'm available? So That's great. Well, I'm a former scout leader and I didn't know Sue at the time and wasn't involved in the program at that time. But I challenge anyone that's in the scouting program, both Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, to get your, uh, your scouts out there to volunteer because it's, it's great community service and it's very rewarding. We're going to go back to Hollis now. Hello, so yes. you, give me some ideas on, on the types of toys that, that teenagers need. That's very difficult to, to, to pick toys for teenagers, uh, you know, 12, 13 in that area. What, what, would you, what would you suggest for boys and girls? Well, one of the things that's a big seller for, uh, and it's really popular for even all ages of kids, is the, the Razor scooters. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Those things are you know, still very, very popular. And the helmets to go with Soc them. And the helmets. Soccer balls. Uh, soccer balls are a big seller. Remote control, helicopters. Those, the adults play with those. <laughs> <laughs> remote, very remote, good. Remote helicopters, uh, any kind of remote electric cars. Mm -hmm. Those are really, really popular. Uh, what else? Art supplies, models. Art supplies, Art supplies models. Uh, models. Building uh, things, yes, makeup. great. Makeup. Yes. Teenage girls. Absolutely. That's Curling great. Irons. Curling irons. <laughs> Fingernail polish. You know what? One thing I want to mention that, every, that we haven't yet is that every toy has to be unwrapped. Yes. You can yes, take no absolutely. wrapped toys because by a, being unwrapped, you can identify the age group exactly. that it would go to and place it in the right hands as needed. That's really the important part. New and they must be new toys. and unwrapped toys. Yeah. yeah, we do want to point out we cannot take used toys. Um, and sometimes they do come across. And we, we understand that some people really have big hearts and, and, and feel it's really not that used. Um, our, every kid deserves a brand new toy. And so. Even when we have something like that, we have a place that we can give those toys to another charity, um, which is reason what some of the things that Tina helps us with, and so with that connection. So that's just really important. We just want people to give. We really want this county and the families and you folks sitting at home and watching this telecast and presentation is that you can see that this is a charity of, of, of a community here, and it takes all of us to make a difference in a child's life. And as a teacher uh, myself with working with kids in this county for many, many, many years, um, it's really important to me because I see the difference. And even uh, some of the students that I've had previous years remember waiting in line for getting toys years ago and are so shocked that they are now giving away toys and that's a new feeling to them. And some of them have come back year after year. It's a tradition. This is a wonderful special occasion for this county. And this is where we pour it on. So I'm asking those that you're sitting there, please look in your hearts, go and donate a brand new toy. Um, contact us, we do need volunteers to help us. Um, it takes quite a few of us to make a difference and give those toys away. And you can do so um, by contacting us at home at 530-344-9384. And I'm sure that there will be more additional information um, with this broadcast and presentation. But start with a phone call and make and come out. And especially at our events, we've got the Placerville Parade coming up. We have our crazy time at the Bell Tower where we have some people kind of dressing up and partying. But it makes it a festive Christmassy atmosphere, especially when we're giving and we're getting together as everybody for with kids. And it's all about kids. And Walmart, we have a, um, a, actually a giveaway, or not a giveaway, a donation time with them. Um, Big Lots is another one. Kmart is going to be doing something as well. So please, please, I'm really asking everybody, help us out this year because we, can, we, we will make sure, as all of us here with Quinn and Tina and Stacy, my husband, and Kevin here, that, and anybody else out there, we want to make sure that the kids do have that special Christmas. I don't want any child being left without this year.
Okay, so how many toys was it last year that was collected total and handed out? Approximately 23,000. 23,000, and that is a combination between the chips for kids and the toys for tots because you put them together and hand them out together, is that correct? Actually, it's more than that. Counting chips for kids was more than that. There you go. What is the total with both? Talk. What were your numbers? I gave you all my numbers. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so that is with the chips... Because that was grand total. 23,000 yeah. 23, toys, and these are all t collected in El Dorado County and collected. given out in El Dorado yes, County. All the toys, all the toys collected in El Dorado County. Well, you should all be Dorado very County. proud no, for all that you've done for that. The number of kids we donated toys to was approximately 6,800, a little over 6,800. Over kids. almost 7,000 kids 7, in kids. in our county. Well, I want to know that my school district has 6,800 kids, so that would be like giving toys to every one of our high school students. So I'll tell you something, that's something to be proud of, and I'm proud of all of you for doing that. But I'd like to challenge that we do more than 23,000 toys this year. Class World Parade is December 7th, 1 yes. o'clock on Main Street. Be there. Yes. Oh, that's something we need to do. And I'm asking everybody to open their hearts and their minds, because just because it says Toys for Tots or Chips for Kids, some families come in and what those children desire is a jacket okay. yes. or gloves. Good. Depending on the season we have, you know, some of these families would like mm -hmm. nothing better than a sled and gloves so they can stay warm when they're out enjoying that snow. Mm -hmm. So just because it says Toys for Tots or Chips for Kids, please open your minds, open your hearts, and give whatever you can. Wonderful. Thank you. That is a good point because oftentimes there's clothing that is in need and sometimes we do ask parents to request clothes. So hats and mittens and jackets are really would be perfect in doing that. Um, and also if you come out to the parade, come see us at the bell tower. Um, of course we have a very special brand new banner that we will be unveiling at the parade this year. All right. So I'm pretty excited about that. And as you courtesy of Western Signs, so thank you guys. Thank you so very, very much for doing that, and as well as all, a lot of people that help put this together. Because every donation that we get, uh, we are the charity uh, that every donation that comes in has to be spent on toys. So our budget for operating for things such as um, paperwork and stuff that we used to do, I have to go around and ask businesses if they would please donate in kind because we can't uh, we can't pay for it, and that's fine. The dollars that come into us, the toys that come into us, go to our kids, and the money stays here in the county to support our businesses as well. But if, as well as we were mentioning, what Thompson Toyota? Oh yeah. Oh yes, it's uh, um, they do play a big Absolutely. part. A lot of big mm -hmm. people do, um, and that's really that's critical. And if you're there at the parade, please stop and and like I said at the bell tower, and drop and donate a toy off. Um, you're really welcome to do that and make a difference there, um, and, and we'll see you there. Well, okay. Oh, well, th thank we you very this. much again. <laughs> California Highway Patrol, El Dorado County Sheriff's Office, Marine Corps Reserve, Toys for Tots program, Sue, Hollis, Stacy, Quinn, and Tina along here with Kevin. I really think you're all heroes in this community, and I really appreciate everything you do, but I have one last question. What's with the tiger theme? <laughs> Quinn, would you like to answer that? No. <laughs> I, I believe I believe it's just it's a CHP thing that ti Quinn has a nickname Tiger. But anyway, Tiger, thank you for coming. We appreciate everything that you've done, and please donate toys. We want to go over twenty-three thousand this year. We want to break it. We want to set a record. Clothing, toys, you name it, money, gift cards. We'll take it all. And if you want to volunteer, contact any one of these here, and they'll get they'll put you to work. Thank you very much. Thank you.